Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legion TD on Lil. I'm not actually keeping this, I don't think. I mean, I can, but... I'm just gonna choose not to. Hey, Disciple. Sure. Green Disciple. Do we build it here? Because we're on green. I never build on this side. I, like, actually never build on this side. Alright, fuck it. Let's build it here. It's a shame my uh, tier 1s were so far back. It's better to keep uh, Engineer than Place Vector. With Disciple, because the 25 gold is awkward, means I need more gold for level 3 from building a Spectre, or I need to sell the Spectre, or I need to not build a Spectre in the first place. I think this game I'm building a Spectre though, or I need to stay through zero, which is also allowed, but not particularly appealing. Anyway, that first roll was pretty playable, but it was just like... I don't know, I think it just dies on 8 in this team, so... Figured I'd reroll, look for something a bit more, um, a bit more effective. And if I didn't find it, I had enough dropped to play. I am really thinking about staying through zero because Raider is super bad on two, and he's pushing. We are super bad on two. But, like, it's just not my job. Okay, good. He went militia and cancelled the wisp. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to chill with just Disciple, I think. I'll have a bad time versus Send, but I don't want to. Like, this can leak, but i got to get pretty unlucky. Like, really pretty unlucky. I don't want to build a Spectre just to sell it. Leaking is bad, but... We're not horrible at any level. Um, like, 3, 4, 5, 6. Basically, it doesn't fuck Pink over in particular to get Ascend on any of those levels. Or he, like, has the ability to be good on all of them. Yeah, we'll be fine here. Oh no, not if we do that. Okay, good. The missile sometimes like explodes out there for... I, I don't know why and I will never know why. I may actually eventually find out if someone who knows tells me. But yeah, I'm not going to go searching for it myself. Anyway. Normal Disciple. Dark Trolls 4 is fine for me. I mean, I don't particularly care. They're a bit slower than us. No, a bit faster? Slower, 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 slower. They're a bit slower than us. There's like one. There's like a couple of semi slow lines. No, I'm fine with Dark Troll. Yeah, in general, goal for me is just to have push. Still go first Lumberjack here. Probably straight into 7 1, then 7 2 for 5. Just build like whatever for 5, doesn't really matter. I'm not going to skip Lumberjack for this send though. I don't need to since I'm 4 0 already. I'll reach double doctoral with Lumberjack. Do I reach 2x? Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, well, I do with Leak, but we're gonna see what we see anyway. Without Leak, I'm actually maybe not reaching it. So I wasted a bit of time there, unfortunately. It's a, you know, skill issue on my butt. I'm bad at this game, but you should be used to that by now. I think I've made that pretty clear. Anyway, non AoE 7080. 
I'd rather go five. It's okay, but I'd rather go five, yeah. Archer, Aqua, Pirate of Truth, Rat Ice. So purple's the overbuild lane with Pirate of Truth, Rat, and Ice Troll. Which will be pretty good on 5, but won't be that good on 5. Augment sounds fine. I don't think I'm going... Any overbuild? No. Orange can overbuild if he wants. Yellow has a better mid game than me. I don't have mid game, because I'm on 50. So I'm not trying to be greedy. Probably building with 7-2. Just because I um, can't really push more than 7-2. Like pushing the Lumberjack bricks the sand really badly. He's leaking here. I think that's not good, but oh well. Anyway, I'm still not looking for any overbuild. Get another scout. Didn't really need that, but sure. It's nice and low, good. Should have some clear option. This is same lane leaking, I think. Yeah, it would be because um purple is the overbuilder. Mouth rat ice. What is fucking PR? Okay, um, building a gate card because needed on six. Pretty sure four specters is a lot better here. But that uh, is not at all helpful for six. So yeah, I'll go double specter into seven three. I can for sure be liking a bit to no send here, by the way, but I don't really care. But only job this game for me is push. So as long as I have push, I've done my job. Yeah, it's a disciple role with uh, no mid game. First role had a bit of mid game, I think. Had Seija, I want to say, but um, most likely dying on five, or dying on five, or dying on eight with that first role, depending how I play it out. So. This is playable, but I think I dropped enough stuff to make the reroll worth. Don't get me wrong, it's a tempting roll to keep that first roll. I think it's like Hydra Helicopter with like Meat Wagon and Ghoul, so it'd be like trying to but like trying to hold five with like Ghoul Helicopter. And then having nothing for eight. It's just I don't know. I think I just end up deadline with it in the majority of games. And sometimes one team or the other clogs and I get to carry, but that's about it. Alright. So send here is nice. Um, have really good focus, like insanely good focus, so just massive mid for free. The cycle. Yeah, this unit is fucking nuts. But. Six um, got a little bit more of its flat damage reduction. Oh my god. This is too many pauses. Can't you just push and wait for the KC or something? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, six got a bit more flat damage reduction. Went from one, taking one less damage from all sources to I think 1.25. I think. Um, off the top of my head. Got slightly more. Not a whole lot, but slightly more. So Disciple and Archer in particular are a bit worse on 6. Okay. So... 
yeah it's it's all about orange pink um yellow can kind of be relevant mid game night parasite like cover parasite it's possible don't think it's um i don't think it's the line he's going to take but it's nice that he has that option if it seems um if it seems like a good option but i think this game is going to be all about um orange and pink so it's a bit of a shame that orange leaked four you'll still be fine because we get a decent amount of king gold here and he didn't leak five but just makes this spot slightly worse. That's all right. Not a super big problem. The units are good, so. And besides, if you leak four with undead, it just means you're stacking the undead. <laughs> Hopefully it'll only be a minute. Anyway. Thinking I will start my 7-4 immediately and then see how much gold I have and then decide what I'm doing. But actually, if I have enough gold for just another disciple, maybe that's good. Maybe just another disciple is good. Is that why it basically sorts out my recovery? Like, I'll be fine on 8 at that point. I want to do some king. Fine with doing some king. Yeah, they actually turned the thorn mail off already, so... Definitely agree with that. Okay, in that case... Definitely not interested in doing another disciple. So yeah, new map. Emulation, small nerf. Thorn mail, small buff. So, I don't know if it'll be incredibly impactful, but directionally correct. And uh, Kappa, good on him. Posted the basically the win rates for the King Spells. I'm going to tab out real quick just so I can make sure I'm telling you the right thing. One second. Da, da, da. Okay, so Shockwave and Stomp are like damn close to 50%. Um... Wave is like 49 point something, Stomp is like 50 point something. Um, so they're basically like 50%. Immolation is 53 and Thorn Mail is 47. So I think like general perception was pretty accurate in terms of where the King Spells are at. I'm not going to bother adding Spectres here, by the way. It doesn't do anything. I like the whole wave if they send. I like the whole wave if they don't send. No matter what I do, I'm liking the whole wave. I should still be giving bounty, my score is totally fine, I haven't leaked yet this game, even though my value is very low, so I shouldn't be giving him zero gold in mid. But we also don't have a second mid holder, so I'm not expecting to kill all my stuff. They do send, even if they didn't, I'm fine with this, I get 7-5 if they don't send. And I would just play like full push suicide angle if they skip. I'm thinking I won't get 7-5 here, but if I get it I'll take it. Uh, looks like I'm gonna get it. No. Unfortunate. One creep. That's alright. I wasn't expecting to get it. Would have liked it, but I wasn't expecting to get it. So, hopefully not zero. Yeah, perfect. 30, 40. Beautiful. I might J down on the ups for a second there. Magnetor on blue. I don't know which uh, lane blue was though. Was blue the line that was leaking? Blue was probably the line that was leaking. So I don't really want to do any more ups because I want to send and I want to um 
push. Game slowed down enough where pushing feels good. Don't feel like I need to recover on eight. I can just recover on nine instead. By the way, this is one heal. I don't know, visually I couldn't really tell a difference with Thorn Mal, but on 6 it's a little less obvious than 7, I think. Someone else cover that, hopefully. Orange can do it. I didn't send my um, home at all well for anything yet, so... Alright, then straight into regen as soon as possible. It's not like hugely impactful, but may as well because don't need more HP than this. So may as well think fast regen and then go into attack, because we'll have plenty of attack, have good push. And we already have 8 attack, probably being more meaningful than having good push. 8? Yeah. Do one more regen and then probably attack. Alright, that's pretty good. There's my soy, that's good. Yeah, 50 legs should be pretty chilled. Should just be one more heal. Okay, still giving bounty here, which is good. Won't give bounty on eight, but like say la vie. Yes. As I said, PR. Um, just have one HP up. I don't know if it was good or not. A little bit of current HP. Don't think it does much either way, because this is just always the one heal and never the second is my estimate on it, so I think it's pretty meaningless either way. I guess we kind of like the HP up for um, 10. It's nice to have a bit more balance between HP attack. Minus 2. It's lost to heal on 5 already. Shouldn't need more regen than this. And minus three. I mean, they're still not out of mana, so. I don't know how much of that is all mal, because there weren't a ton of leaks. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. Full mal still does damage really slowly on seven. But, you know, it doesn't need to be the best spell on seven. It's just maybe like a little depressing at the moment to play like full Melvis simulation. I'm just gonna like build a spectre and upgrade it. Actually am I? Why would I do that? Why would I not just bank a bunch of gold, push seven six, and then build something that will help me on nine? Because building a gate guard here, like I can build this gate guard and then I'm 30 gold or 37 gold and I need 123 gold to get seven six, which is really hard. I'm already zero bounty, confirmed, I know that, fine. Um, but like this, I only need, what, 23 gold? Yeah. So I need, whatever. I'm going to get 7-6 like this. I need 33 gold like this, which I'm going to get. If I build a gate guard, I need 123, which is, I don't know if I'm getting that much. I think I'm not getting that much, basically, which is why I'm not building the gate guard. So yeah, just get 7-6 and then I have three disciples with something in front of it, so like I'm already kind of fine on 9. And it's not like a gate guard is particularly impactful here, right? It's not suddenly making me hold. I'm just leaking 
I mean, I'm probably killing these like five low HP creeps, right? So it makes me money, but now I'm 7 6. And I kind of like being 7 6. Okay, two lines leaking the red blue. So blue is your Magnetor guy. He's this guy. He's pretty rip. Yeah. Three. Um. Healthy archers. Let's just build a priest and hold here. Yeah, I say hold. Maybe not hold, but I'll build a priest. I can do fubs. I can do three. Don't know if I can do four. I am prepared. I bid you. Okay. That's a given. Because I'm going uh, seven seven no one uh, as well. Enlighten me. I am prepared. Guys, priest, get that heal. Ah, uh, so spawn spider. Get the jack in. Make sure I don't lose any time on it. Okay, nice. Got complete recovery. Yeah. Complete recovery here. They didn't already know what unit they have. I have, which they do. They know it now. So, uh, isn't really another unit that looks like I like on eight and then holds nine. That doesn't really happen. Not with AOE units, at least. Archer Hydra. Okay. Not super interested in pushing more than 7-7 seven, seven at the moment. Not feeling like that's necessary. Just gonna go ahead and add another Disciple. May as well. I assume we go full. But I also don't mind banking on my line. You'd rather do that. I think full is good though. Yeah. I am Bank the last bowman, I guess. Pretty sent one. Double spawn. Okay. Uh, his focus looks good. Or oh, like the boss positioning looks pretty good on both of them. His focus might be a bit too even, but at least he kills all the stuff before the bosses get there. Basically same for him, so I think our lines are pretty happy with how the uh, how the Sens came in front. This is pretty bad though, but he didn't have much damage. Anyway. One mid, good enough. And it's a lot of damage from orange. It's not great, but it's a lot of damage. They have one mid as well. Yeah, that's fine. Gets one spider kill in mid. Particularly meaningful. So, 15 20. Pretty damn similar king. I think that makes sense. They've got good push as well. Aqua Archer, um, dead lane overbuild. So we got Archer Disciple, um, 
I guess like semi halt and overbuild. Think we're good? No, maybe not quite. Okay, we're good now. Are they good? Depends how much regen. They're like close to good. They they won't be dying if they burn their lumber. Um, you can do a commander. Okay, I can do a commander. Sure. I was thinking your land is more relevant than mine, so you could take the income, but whatever. Doesn't really make any difference. Um, I'm like fine with building a minor toy. Yeah, as I said, blows super dead. Like the Minotaur doesn't do anything good except it's just a bit better on 11 I guess so I feel like I may as well. Reroll into... Um, Dorking's okay. That is like double apparition aura though. Interesting. Probably want to kill them with... <laughs> Our strongest lane has Apparition Auras this early, he's going to be pretty weak on 14, 15. That was a big stomp, slowed both the Hydras. Nice job, Minotaur. Fucking king. Okay. Is this arena a Gravekeeper death? I think it might be. Yeah, that was... I don't know. I mean, we won the arena. It's good. Was it an Apparition death? Mm, it might have been. I've got a bit here, but obviously... Well, so obviously, Disciples are pretty bad at fighting other towers. Most other towers. I kind of like him being 7-4, but I also don't think it makes much difference. We have nice slumber, either way. I'm just a little scared of um, pink potentially leaking with high value. Because I don't like the look of his setup for really any mid-game level at the moment. Okay. What a messy line. Alright. Hydra there, Hydra there. I mean... 14 if we're happy with the wood. Seems fine to me. Um, I think we will be happy with the wood, but... You can just like, reassess. Boom. Damn, I don't talk good 11. Holy. Oh wait, no one's leaking here. <laughs> That's like unexpected, but yeah, it makes sense. He has a Magnetor and I have a Minotaur apparently. Oh, we can, um, we don't want to play 16. Actually, no, we're totally fine with playing 16. I take that back. We just don't die 16. Uh, what do we do? I am prepared. Hmm. Do I build there? Oh no. What ails you? Upgrade complete. Research complete. Job done. I'm gonna leave this guy go because I don't want to randomly like. Kinda of doesn't matter what I roll. That's okay. I mean, it's a good roll, ostensibly. Boom! Huge stun. Um, yeah, it's like good units for 16, 17. I don't have the value to really use it. 
I might be leaking here as well. If I am, then it's just like I am, you know. Disciple bad on range levels. My setup with Disciple bad on range levels as well. So I have too much melee stuff. Yeah, didn't really want to like. Not a lot different I can do about it. Besides, um. Changing my placement a lot, which is, um. Yeah. I didn't do. Can't change it once it's dropped either. A bounty again though, which is good. Anyway, I'm not sure if I want to build Griffin. Or if I want to build Mutant. I'm leaning towards building Griffin. Because... I think I can be relevant on 16, and I don't think I ever hold 17. My brothers in like, my lane is not capable of holding 17. I am not really willing to spend wood on juicing mutants. I think what I should be doing is being relevant on a level that I can be relevant on, potentially. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to hold 16 with Griffins, but if we elect to not send 16 and they elect to send 16, like, killing more creeps on 16 can be relevant for my lane. Or from my lane, rather. But a 17 race, it's like killing more creeps on my lane is unlikely to be relevant. Just upgrade this. This is sad, but I think I sell this. Need to double click. Because this way I get um double Griffin on fifteen as well. Boom! Huge stun. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't banking gold there. Not a particularly strong level for me. Bigfoot got it though. Three hundred and eighty plus three fifty. Yep, I narrowly reached Griffin. Good. Actually, it's not that narrow, but yeah, I reached Griffin. Good. You don't Oracle the Phoenix? Oh god. And I guess he actually wants it to take some damage instead of just having. Whatever it is, like 16% damage reduction and not taking damage. It's kind of understandable, but still, Phoenix tier, sad. Got an Oracle to Phoenix. I like this Magnetor in front. So what worries me is this Magnetor drags this Magnetor in front as well, or can drag this Magnetor. Drags like actually everything in front of the Hydras and... Um, yeah, I think you kind of want those Hydras to take at least a little bit of damage. Denies in damage share on 16 as well. I 
feel like capable of winning a race 17. I like as we just win because we have an extra heal and we send more. I am prepared. Out with it. It has begun. But um, obviously, if they have a mid, we have problems. Probably a corner delay game. Oh, it's not even Phoenix. Sarge. Yeah, we'll build this Griffin here. It's like the same issue with um, putting stuff on front of Disciples makes Disciples bad on range levels, but like, I'm not selling the Bigfoot, so I already have stuff in front, and the Griffins will run in front no matter where I put them. So I may as well get one of them damage sharing early. Didn't want any here earlier though, because really bad on 14, 15. If I do that. Anyway, do they send? They do. Okay, see how we go. Um, it's not that big a send, honestly. Steam and one crack and mass on each lane. My demon is pretty fast, so I'm gonna leak a fair amount here. As Hydra's the last to die. Okay, he's mid. And he's mid. That should be good enough. Yeah, it will be good enough. Nice. A reasonable amount of uh, distance between our lakes, which is relevant because the mid is big enough. I am prepared. I bid you. Enlighten me. Out with it. I bid you. Go for like 17. I don't know. I should. No, I should be able to. It turns out Elite Archer is kind of good on 16, by the way. If anyone forgot that, tip it. Right, nice. Glad I went Griffins instead of Mutants. Didn't matter that much, probably, but like, as I said, killing more units on my line is relevant in the situation where we don't want to send 16 and they decide to undercut 16. And killing more units on my lane 17 doesn't really matter because my lane is never capable of holding. 17 versus send. Okay. That should be fine. This half spot too far forward. Hmm, maybe. I don't really need to split to leak, by the way, but we're just gonna go for one. I am prepared. Out with it. It'd be fun if three lanes if three of our lanes leak and we just died a no send or something. It's like not gonna happen, but you know, it would be funny. Alright. Boom, huge stun. Yeah, split a bit. Pretty happy with this. The only thing is, like, I don't actually know if it makes me, like, slower, but... Whatever. Should have upgraded the priest, maybe. I'll do the behemoth. Should afford that and the fire lord. Oh, 
Should rage. Seven eight. Should rage. Don't need a farm. Even if I need a farm, I'm just not gonna do a farm. It's all those. Griffin. And just sell like gate guards for farm space. Yeah, that'll do. Spends like the most amount of gold I can. Don't need to um, avoid banking gold since this is an race level. Yep, double fire. Whichever lanes get double fire lord should just really struggle to hold because it's a lot of damage. Ancient tree dino. Cool. Get to push more here then. Would have pushed more anyway, probably, but get to push. Pun me, get to push more. Oh shit, got that Lionel Bigfoot. Pretty sure it's out of range, but boom, got a second stun anyway. Should have done the, should have done Lionel in front maybe to make sure it hits the Bigfoot. Major misplay on my part. Unlikely to matter. Uh, this looks pretty GG. Zero heals, 43 is kind of a big number when the send is what, 18k? Yeah. I was going to say 20k would have been my guess. So I was a little overshooting, but big fucking send either way. Yeah, both double fire lord lands leaked. Got one mid? Yeah. Good. I mean, fair play to purple. Going mid. But, uh... enough. Definitely not enough. I mean, this is taking four heals. I mean, this is like killing a four heal king. Like five fire lords. It's just too much. Yeah, GG. Cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are legends, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.